In a recent turn of events, China has strongly rebuked the Philippines for conducting joint air patrols with the United States in the disputed South China Sea. China's Southern Theater Command accused Manila of collaborating with extraterritorial countries, labeling it as a move that stirs up trouble and heightens regional tensions. Despite China's warnings, the Philippines proceeded with rotating its vessels in contested areas to caution Beijing against further provocative actions. Responding to China's criticism, the Philippines defended its decision, asserting sovereignty and legal rights as an independent nation. National Security Advisor Eduardo Año emphasized that joint exercises with the U.S. aim to promote maritime security and uphold international law within Philippine territory. China condemned Manila's actions, accusing it of stirring up trouble by collaborating with extraterritorial countries and deployed naval and air forces to closely monitor the situation. Tensions between China and the Philippines have escalated as Manila strengthens its defense partnership with the United States, a move that strains relations with Beijing. We do not seek to contain the People's Republic of China. As stated in U.S. strategy, however, we are engaged in a robust competition. The United States is not seeking conflict in the Indo-Pacific region. Rather, we embrace the rules-based international order, freedom of navigation throughout the global commons, human rights, and the peaceful settlement of disputes utilizing the rule of law. The Philippine Air Force's announcement of joint patrols with U.S. forces marks a departure from its previous stance under former President Rodrigo Duterte, who sought closer ties with China. China's assertive claims over the South China Sea involve constructing military facilities on artificial islands. The South China Sea, a critical maritime route representing over 21% of global trade, has become a focal point of geopolitical tensions. Various nations, including the Philippines, Malaysia, Vietnam, Brunei, and Chinese Taipei, dispute China's claims. Ongoing disputes highlights the region's strategic importance, emphasizing the need for diplomatic efforts to address tensions and maritime security challenges. China's sovereignty claim over the South China Sea is challenged by other claimants, leading to conflict and militarization. The recent naval drills conducted by both China and the United States, coupled with the Philippines' response, highlight the persistent dispute. The strategic waterway, claimed by multiple countries, including the Philippines, has become a geopolitical hotspot. The South China Sea conflict remains a major source of tension in Asia and a potential trigger for future conflicts, according to the Global Conflict Tracker. On September 8, 2023, The Guardian reported an escalation in competition over the South China Sea as the Philippines conducted joint air patrols with the United States, drawing strong opposition from China. A primer published by the Congressional Research Service on February 9, 2024, summarized U.S. policy interests, China's claims, positions of other claimants, international law implications, and Congress's role in the dispute. Any miscalculation, miscommunication, or mishandling of the situation could have serious and far-reaching consequences for the region and the world. The South China Sea remains a geopolitical hotspot requiring careful navigation to avoid escalation and promote stability in the strategically vital waterway.